Ron Cotto, the Airgun Scientist here. Today's question, how do we get the moisture out of our compressors, our shoebox, alphas, omegas, emerald air, whatever compressor you're using, uh, these little expensive compressors don't come with a true filter. They might have a condensate drain, but they don't have a filter in them. So what do we do? Well, first thing is get a proper filter. We're going to tell you what's proper and what is not proper, what is safe and why it's safe and what's not safe and why it's not safe. Okay, so the first thing is, obviously you need a pressure vessel that can handle the pressure, okay? These are just one of the units that we sell, as is this. This is our alpha filter, sometimes called our shoebox filter, and this is a much larger unit. But the one thing you'll notice is they're stout, okay? The walls are like that thick. They're made to handle 5,000 PSI minimum, and uh, they're not made in Asia, okay? Um, Another thing, one can't just pack beads into a cylinder like this and expect it to work. In fact, you shouldn't do that for two reasons. Uh, one of which it won't work, and the number two reason is it's not safe. Why won't it work? Well, picture this to be the tube, the inside of the tube, and you just happen to put beads in there. You just kind of put them in and then you screw the cap on. The air channels in between them. They have to come tightly packed in a tube. Okay, so that the air can't channel through. That's number one. Oh, by the way, don't try recooking your, your filter media. Filter elements are cheap. Every time you cook a, your, your element, you only get 80% of the, the moisture carrying capability. So maybe you could do it once, fine. But after the second time, I wouldn't even do it the first, but definitely wouldn't do it a second time. Um, I'm gonna ramble on because I just wanna get this out there, this information out there. So one, you can't put the, be uh, the beads just in there loosely, okay? The other thing is, never ever have these beads come in contact with the aluminum surface. The reason is, these beads leach acids once they get moist. At that point, you now have acid touching the metal pressure vessel. And that won't take long, or I won't say how long it'll take, but that can eventually weaken the threads in the uh, pressure vessel. Not a good thing. Okay, when something's filled to 5,000 or 4,500 or 4,000, whatever pressure's in it at the time. Be safe. Don't put beads in your cylinder. Don't put them loose. Make sure they're in a stainless steel or some form of container that's designed to hold the beads. The second thing is, you just can't leave the moisture in the filter. Um, I've seen some filters, it's nothing but a tube. You fill it with beads, you close it up. Okay, well, every filtration system has what's called a condensate, okay, uh, area. It might be a separate tube. In our case, it's a below section here, and it's where we let the moisture out that collects, where it condenses. That's the condensate. That's going to be a good, sizable part of your water collection. The only thing left is the water vapor. That's what the filter element is made to capture. Filter media can only take 20% of its weight in water volume. In other words, it can only capture 20% of whatever this weighs in water. That's not a whole lot. The filter needs to be able to drain out the moisture. If you're leaving it inside, after the very first time, two things have happened. One, you've let the moisture get into the beads and now they're really saturated and they're leaching the acid, and two, you've totally destroyed your filter media the very first time. You have to remove the condensate or you're going to destroy your filter. So those points alone are just some of the things we're trying to stress to keep your safety, okay? Make sure your beads aren't loose, make sure they're not in contact with the, uh, the aluminum housing, and make sure you're removing that moisture from inside the filter. Uh, those are the three major key uh, points that we want to make.